after a long day of riding, man, what better way to, uh, to end off a day than uh, cleaning up your bikes, bikes and servicing them, man? I get a lot of questions a lot of times, how I keep my bikes looking so new all the time. And uh, one of the things is, man, I, uh, I take a lot of pride and joy in keeping them clean and uh, keeping them running in tip-top shape. Uh, I mean, a lot of people, I think that's one of the biggest aspects that a lot of people miss out on. We don't take time out to really service and clean our bikes like we should. So, uh, man, what I'm gonna do, man, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna let you in and just let you see how I, I go about my cleaning and uh, servicing process. Well, just a little mild service, just an oil change and checking my chain and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I just really just show you the whole process. So, uh, yeah. A good bio, uh, biodegradable or uh, degrease over, man, to really just clean them down and let them soak while I'm servicing the bike. A lot of times it just consists of me changing the oil, tightening the chain, or either changing the spark plugs, chicken valve clearance to make sure there's still an adjustment. So right now, man, I just uh, soaked it down. So now, man, I'm about to proceed to change the oil. So first thing first, man, when we get started, man, the first thing we need is uh, we're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket and a, and a ratchet. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is just drain all the oil out of your cases, in which uh, YFZ, uh, fuel injector models they have two plugs one right here on the front and one right here so the next thing you want to do man is remove your oil filter covers for this right here you need a a, a five millimeter uh hex wrench well i have a socket uh it has three three hex wrench bolts in it which you remove and a lot of times what I like to do, I like to uh, drain all the oil out of the, the engine first because the tricky part about this, when you remove the oil filter cover, a lot of times the oil will run down onto like your frame and it'll get all right there. And then it's, it's kind of a pain to, to clean off sometimes. Even though I've already sprayed it down with degreaser, man, I don't want to go back again and do it. And a lot of times, man, I like to have a, a towel in my hand and I like to stick it right below it so the oil won't get on my frame. So yeah, after you remove the cover, as you can see, it has an O-ring inside of it right there, uh, around the edge of the, uh, the oil filter cover. Be sure not to lose that, because if you do, your oil filter will, lose, will leak oil everywhere. And as, as, oh, if you notice, uh, pay, pay close attention to how, how your oil filter came out. As you see, the open end is pointed towards the cover, in which it, 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 it sits down on that right there. So, so if I can get this removed, Uh, I, me myself personally, I like to use the uh, genuine uh, Yamaha filter you know, parts, especially on like my engines like this, especially with, with it being still on the factory warranty. For mine, uh, I've just always been a fan of just using the factory filters. So personally, I always feel like the, the aftermarket filters were, were kind of unnecessary unless I just had a big bill that I, uh, I had built. But for the most part, yeah. In which the part number on this is you can see is 595D3134409. So the best way to go about doing this is uh basically sticking your new filter in like this. And it clips on. And be sure also be sure not to lose these three O-rings that go around the oil filter right there, right there, and they go around all the bolts. Like I said, once again, you also have another O-ring around your cover. If you if you lose any of these, be sure to, to, to replace it and put it back. Because if you don't, man, you have a big, big problem and you have oil leaking everywhere when you go to crank your bike back up. So let me place this back on. Place your three bolts back in. Oh yeah, make note that uh, the two shorter bolts go at the top and the one longer bolt goes at the bottom.
So yeah guys, so uh is that so now we gotta put the oil back into the bike. You know, for me myself, man, I like to use Rotella 15W40. Uh this oil that I've always used in all my bikes, it's never given me any problems. Uh it's reasonably priced, there's nothing overpriced or just outrageously. Uh like I said, uh it, in this bike here in particular by him uses like a quarter and a half, a little over, but not too much uh over a quarter and a half. So uh yeah. After you feel it, man, uh, you want to take a look at your stick. And as you can see on the stick, it has an F. I don't know if you can really see it. Make sure your oil level is on the F, and that way that you'll know that it's full. Then after that, there you crank it, let it run for about a minute. Then you switch it back off and check your oil level again, and you should be good. So that's the oil changing process for, of a YFC 450 oil. The next day. So what up YouTube, man, back again with another vlog, man. Today, man, uh, if you're watching this video today, uh, my meet and greet, my first ever official meet and greet is a week away from today, man. I gotta say, man, I'm excited, man. I appreciate all y'all support from, the, from, from then until now, man. My very first, this is a big milestone for the channel, man. I gotta say, man, as long as y'all keep supporting, man, I'm gonna keep delivering that A1 content, man. And I'm gonna keep pushing forward as much as, uh, as possible, you know what I'm saying? But right now, what we're doing is we're getting ready. Uh, I got a couple of upgrades that I'm gonna do to the, the Raptor 250. I got a cleaning car, and I got some new handlebars for it. But right now, man, uh, let me go ahead and get started on, on installing these handlebars, man. Uh, yeah. <music>
yeah, that's the installation of a set of KLX 110 handlebars, man. I must say, man, they turned out pretty, turned out better than what I expected, though. I like the way that they look. They're not too much, you know what I'm saying? They ain't too big. It's just right for him, though. Um, let's find, find a little mountain. Seeing exactly how everything fits, but it, everything seems to fit perfect, though, man. Um, Hey, anybody looking for a good little upgrade, a little more, man? Get you a set of K uh, KLX 110 handlebars, man. Mount up on your uh, Raptor 110. All right, so check it out right now, right now. Oh, uh, man, we're about to try to start on this uh, carburetor cl cleaning process. So, shit, I already got my um, rear fenders already loose. And, um, but as y'all can see, boy, my, my outfits ain't talking about nothing. Woo! For real. Oh, Lord. Ain't it, ain't it like it's breaking a little bit? Man, give me a nerd. I record all this shit, this ain't no goddamn how-to video. You really doing my job. God knows it. For that bit. When you hit them, always start sputtering. So that's the problem right there. Look how gunked up that is. God damn, that bitch is nasty, boy. Gotta be careful with these. Yes, you don't know, rip them. Make garbage, darling. Being careful. God, that's what the ethanol gas do for you. Clean the guy. I know, look at that jet. Oh, so we pretty much don't figure pretty much figure out the problem just that quick. That cheap ethanol gas, dog. Letting it sit up. You can't let this stuff sit up in your bikes too long, man. Hey, you messed up. God, that shit look terrible too. But when you like me. A handy dandy mechanic. Uh oh. I'm gonna pop that whole tube out. Let's see exactly what we got going on in here. This right here is your main jet. You got two jets. You got your main jets, then you got your pilot jet. Your pilot jet is the one that the idols off of. You can, well, you can't see through it. Well, my, my main jet seems to be all right. It ain't stopped up. I'm, I'm pretty sure my pilot is all right too, though, because uh, you the out of right. What is that? Oh, uh, this is my outer jet. It's your main pilot in the outer. The rest stopped up pretty damn good, and you can't even see through it. Here come my problem right here. See, if you look through the thing, you're supposed to be able to see through it. Hold it up in the sky, you're supposed to be able to see daylight. You can't see nothing. So that's my main and my pilot right there. So I'm gonna let him do a little soaking right there in that key on tool a little bit. Let him get it right. While I'm taking this last one out, take the last jet out. And once you clean the last jet, man, that shit pretty much do you. I mean, everything else seems to be all right and working, working order. Just cleaning it on. Um. All right, man. You gotta be careful where you can gas from. And stay on top of it. All right, that's pretty much clean. Though. Still blowing up though. Reinstall all my jets, like I said before. Just screw back in, not too tight. Y'all, you ain't gotta be out here like you damn incredible Hulk trying to tighten up the damn boat. Some of y'all be out here getting carried away.
clean the cupboard. I go hard in the motherfucking paint, nigga. Leave you stankin', nigga. What the fuck you thinkin', nigga? I won't die for this shit or what the fuck I say. Front yard, broad day with the head See Gucci, that's my motherfuckin' thing. Where you at?